We'll be going over the S&P 500, ticker symbol SPY. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day-by-day -day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis on the 1-hour chart. We had our main end pause MACD, we did see a diverge, and we're off of overbought levels with the RSI. With the 4-hour chart, we still remain in a pause MACD and at overbought condition with the RSI. As we extend that further onto the daily chart, we remain in pause MACD, seeing signs of a converge once more. And as of now, for my trade idea of the week, my position size is less than 1% of my portfolio. My long entry is at $375.76, and that is this range here. My sell target is at $392.08, and my stop loss is at $370.03. However, if I were to open a short position, my entry is at $396.62, and my sell target is at $381.65, and my stop loss is at $401.28. So whichever entry price were to hit first, that will be my position of the week. So how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model, which is available in the link below, so do check it out. As we progress to the fifth day or week of trading, we have a 52% chance for the S&P 500 to climb between 0 to 2.7%, a 4% chance to climb between 27 to 5.4%, and a 39% chance to fall between 0 to negative 2.7%, and further extreme case to the downside, a 4% chance to fall between negative 2.7 to negative 5.4%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.